Hello everyone, this is Namrata from IB Professional School and welcome to our Power BI series. So today we will be learning about a very important concept for Power BI that is data modeling in Power BI. So let's try to understand what is data modeling. Data modeling is one of the pillars of Power BI report creation. It allows users to connect different data tables in their Power BI report by creating relationships among them. It is crucial to create a well-developed model to help users fully communicate their findings on the organization's information to the end users. Now, to build a data model, we need to understand two concepts very well. One is tables in data model and second would be cardinality. Let's understand what are tables in data model. So usually we have two types of table to create relationship in a data model. One is the lookup table. It has unique values like primary key. Based on this key, we can uniquely identify records. Primary key is a unique key which uniquely identifies records in a table. Second is data table. Data table has multiple values and foreign keys. Foreign key is basically primary key of another table. So why do we need foreign keys? So we actually need foreign keys to create the relationship between the different tables. Let's see now what is cardinality. Now cardinality is also known as a relationship between the tables. So cardinality defines the number of relation from one table to another table. So there are usually three types of cardinality while building a model. The number one is one to one. In this type of cardinality, both the tables has unique records. This is the least type of relationship when we are building data models. Let's see with an example. So one school has one principal. Similarly, one principal can be there or manage only one school at a time. So this is a one to one relationship. One to many in this cardinality table, on one side has unique value and table on the many side has many duplicate values. However, this is the most acceptable cardinality while we are building a data model. Let's see an example. So one school can have many teachers. Similarly, one teacher can teach in one school only. So here the relationship is one to many. Next is many to many. In this cardinality, both sides of the table have duplicate values. So many to many cardinality is usually avoided in Power BI because it leads to inconsistent results in the data model. Else we have to build more complex tax measures to reach to a desired result if we are using a many to many cardinality. So usually it is suggested unless and until it is very much needed not to use a many-to-many -many relationship. Let's see the example. So one student can learn many subjects in a school. Again, many students can learn one subject in a school. So this is an example of many-to-many -many relationship. Now let's try to understand this Power BI model or data model with an example. So Right now we are in Power BI and you can see on my right hand side field pane, I have loaded three tables. One is the product table containing the product details, sales table containing the sales details and territories table containing the territories details. So let's click on model view. So whenever we are building the data model, we need to go with the model view. So we double click on it and right now you can see on my screen, the three tables are showing here, which are individual tables. So let's try to create a relationship among these three tables to get our desired results later on. So to create a relationship among tables, we need to go and work from the Manage Relationships tab. So when we click on it, so you can see four options are there. So number one is New. So New basically helps us to create the relationships among the table manually. Auto detect. Auto detecting Power BI automatically detects or creates a relationship among the tables based on the common field names or column names. 
edit with edit option you can edit the relationships among the tables and delete option basically allows you to delete any relationship between the tables at any point of time so let's first use auto detect so when we click on auto detect you can see it shows found one new relationship let's close the dialog box and we can see a relationship is already created between sales table and product table because Power BI have automatically detect the common column between these two tables, which is product. Okay. So this is the use of auto detect. Now let me delete this relationship and let's create the relationship manually now. So we go to new. So we can select the products table here and we can select the sales table here. So I will highlight the product key column here from the products table and product key column from the sales table. So now you can see both these columns, common columns are highlighted in both the tables. It's showing me the cardinality as one to many. This is make this relationship active and we click on OK. So you can see we have again created the same relationship, but this time we have created it manually. Now let's close it and try to understand the relationship in detail. So you can see this thin yellow line when we hover over it, it's a yellow line and it's showing the relationship from the product table to the sales table using the common product key. So here you can see the product table has number one written against it and sales has a star on it. So this is basically a one to many relationship. So one side of the table, the product key here is basically a primary key which has a unique value. And the product key in this table that is the central table that is the sales table is a foreign key. So we are basically creating the relationship between the lookup table and the data table using a foreign key. Okay. Now, territories table is also there. So we need to create next the relationship between the territories table and the cells table. Now, right now we cannot see any similar name column in both the tables. However, we can see there is a cells territory key in the territory table and the territory key in the cells table. So we can use these two columns to create a relationship between these two tables. So another way I'm right now going to show you instead of you know, going on clicking on manage relationships tab, so I can bring the territory key and drag it and pull it over the cells territory key and you can see the relationship is created. So this is again another way of creating the relationships manually between two tables. So again here in this case also we can see one side of the table and this is the many side of the table. So this is a one to many relationship. So sales table is basically the centralized table which has details about all the products, territories as well as the sales and product and territories table are individual tables which have details about the products in the product table and territories in the territory table. Now, since we have already built the data model, let's see how we can utilize this data model and get our desired result. So let's try to find out on the basis of product color, how much order quantity is sold in which territory or region. So we go to report view, we pull a matrix, And let me select product color from the products table, the order quantity from the sales table and the region from the territory table. We can see as per the color wise product color, we can see the quantity order is distributed among the different regions. So we can see the region wise color basis order quantity sold and total quantity sold. Hope you like this video. Thank you for watching.